Hey guys, welcome to our new tutorial here. This is Maggie from Online Learning School and today we are going to do a nice transition called Card Wipe Transition. You can use it for text, you can also use it for pictures. So let's get started. Alright, so here what we are going to do now. First thing, let's hit Ctrl or Command N to create a new composition. Click OK. Then I'll create a new solid layer. So right click here, New, Solid. Then choose any color you want and click OK. And then I'll select my text tool and start writing Online Learning School. And then I'll create another text. I'll write Please Subscribe. And then I'll select each layer and align it to the center of my composition using the Align panel. OK, now make sure to hide the second text layer here, the one on the top. So I'll click on this eye icon here to hide it. And now I'll select the other text layer here. And then go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Card Wipe. Then drag and drop it on our online learning school text layer here. So here we have some interesting options. First thing we have the transition completion field. So if I increased or decreased its value here, you would see that the text is kind of spinning here, kind of breaking up and doing like a 360 spin. So here I'm going to animate this transition completion field. My time indicator is at the beginning of my timeline. I'll set the value here to 0. Then click on the stopwatch beside it. Then drag the time indicator to 2 seconds here. Then set the transition completion value to 100%. So as I drag the time indicator here, you could see that the text is spinning. Then we have here the transition width, which is basically the amount of spin here. So for example, if I set it to 100%, it will spin around the x-axis. And if I drag down its value to say 9% or something, it will do like a subtle increment. So for now, I will set the transition width to 50%. And here we want the back layer to be the please subscribe text layer, which is our other text layer here. So as I drag the time indicator, you could see here it will start off as online learning school and then it wipes out to our second text layer here. Then we have here in the options, we have rows and columns. And this to control how many breaking lines do you want. You can make it like this. Or you can make it like that. For now, I'll set both the rows and columns to 15. You could also choose whether you want it to flip on the x axis, and this is the default one, or you can choose to make it flip on the y axis, like this, or make it completely random. I'll leave it random for now. You could also play around with the rest of the elements and options that you have here, like the flip direction, flip order, then click on the RAM preview and see how your text will wipes out to the next one. Just play around with each option here and see the changes you get on your text 
and choose what suits you the best. Okay, so what I want to do now is that I'm going to select our text layer at the bottom here, then duplicate it using Ctrl or Command D. Make sure the copy is placed at the bottom, so I'll drag it here. I'll hide the top one for now. Select the other one, then change the text color. Choose any color you want. Okay, now I'll get the other text layer back again. I'll make it visible. I'll select both layers and hit U on keyboard to get our keyframes here. I'll select all the keyframes and drag them a little bit forward. Say to one second. And then I'll drag these keyframes of this text layer a little bit more forward here, like this. Now I'll drag my time indicator to this keyframe, then hit Alt open bracket to cut this layer to the time indicator. Then I'll drag my time indicator to this last keyframe here. Select the second layer here and hit alt close bracket to cut the layer to the time indicator. Now I'll select this top text layer, the please subscribe one and hit open bracket on my keyboard to move the layer in point to the time indicator. And last thing I'll cut this layer too by hitting alt close bracket. Now I'll click on the eye icon here beside the please subscribe text layer to make it visible. And now I'll show you what we have so far by clicking on the RAM preview. So as you can see here, we got a nice colorful text to text card wipe transition. And as I mentioned before, you could also use this transition for pictures. All right. So this is so far an overview about the card wipe effect which is a very interesting and wonderful effect and you can do some nice things with. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorials and if you want to check out my full courses, please check out the links in the video description below. I hope you have learned something new from this tutorial, please tell me in the comments below what are your most favorite effects that you always use and whether you are going to give this effect a try or not. Thank you so much and looking forward to seeing you again.